Good morning, everybody. I'm uh, really looking forward to being with you this, this week. Last time I was with you, I was down at Quaivarta, a couple of kilometers along the coastline. I'm now at the new harbor, and one of my favorite places behind me is the pier with those magnificent Dol Ossa, those big concrete structures on the seaside of the pier. I like to come and sit quietly, often in the late afternoon, and think and pray and quietly worship God. I have a confession to make. I have a fever. And immediately you think, oopsie, he shouldn't be out there at the harbor. He should be inside uh, in quarantine. Well, it's not that kind of fever. It's not a COVID-19 fever. It's a sea fever. The sea really does get to me. It gets hold of me. And I love the sea. I'm not great out on the sea, but I love to sit and watch the sea for hour upon hour. But if you hear the word sea fever, you may also be reminded of that great poem, one of the great poems of the English language, uh, written by John Macefield, entitled Sea Fever. Remember these words? I must go down to the sea again, to the lonely sea and the skies, and all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by, and the wheels kick and the wind song, and the white sails shaking, and a grey mist on the sea's face, and a grey dawn breaking. I must go down to the sea again, to the call of the running tide is a wild call and a clear call that cannot be denied. And all I ask is a windy day with the white clouds flying, and the flung spray and the blown spume, and the sea gulls crying. Great stuff. Now that's poetry, if ever you want poetry. Sea fever. And you think, well, what's James banging on about today? Well, I'll tell you why. You know, God has given us hundreds of hundreds of texts in the Bible. But there's one text that God has given to us that we often don't read. And it is the text of nature. Nature is filled with the goodness of God. And it's part of God's plan for us that we should enjoy Him and grow in Him and celebrate who God is by simply being part of it all. The sheer abundance, the sheer beauty and majesty of God as He expresses Himself in this world, in creation. I fear that many of us suffer from another kind of disorder and that is a nature deficit disorder. And the Jews' faith, our brethren, uh, tell us that in the great day of judgment, one of the questions that God will ask us is, why, when I gave you all that there is out there, this beautiful, magnificent world, did we not make more use of it? So, here I am, down at the new harbour, breathing the fresh, wonderful air of this part of the world, connecting with the sea, suffering badly, for better or worse, from sea fever, enjoying God and just sensing that He wants us to enjoy more and more of His love and goodness and beauty by taking part in the wonderful flow of His Spirit as that Spirit manifests Himself in creation. So, just a few words to start today, today, and uh, may God go with you. And if you have time, try and spend some quiet moments enjoying God and embracing the sheer goodness of His creation. <laughs>